What if I told you that you could turn your plain old Google Sheet into a working app in under 20 minutes without writing a single line of code? By the end of this video, you'll have a running live app that connects to your Google Sheets and enables your team to get work done, manage their deliverables, and track deadlines. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get set up and automated using industry leading portals, apps, and integrations. In this tutorial, I am turning an internal Google Sheet into a live app that helps our team manage, track, and get work done. I'll show the same data powering three app builders, firstly using AI builders, Zeit, and Lovable, and then we'll look at Softer. I'll also cover limitations, best practices, and which tool to choose, whether you're building for you, your team, or client. Okay, so we're gonna be using this Google Sheet to build out an app. It's a CRM or a, a customer pipeline tracker. We've got details about the clients, contacts, and check-ins. Now, rather than having our team manage everything within Google Sheets, which isn't the most intuitive platform, we could build a customized front-facing app that manages this data, but gives them a more intuitive way to get things done. Now, we're first gonna jump in and see how easy it is to build an app using a simple prompt, much like you would prompt ChatGPT. So if we jump into Zite or Lovable, the process is the same. You're given that prompt input box and you can ask it anything. Now, here is where you could really save yourself some time and definitely a headache, ensuring that you prompt it correctly. Everyone will jump in and just type a simple sentence saying, hey, I want you to build for me a CRM tracker. However, we've already got the data, so it's better that we actually export this data as a CSV file, bring it into ChatGPT, and ask ChatGPT to provide for us a prompt that we should then give to Zite. Of course, you'll then want to review that prompt and ensure it does relate to you, but this is a much better way of getting your app ready-made without spending hours of prompting back and forth. Now, I've already prepared a specific prompt using my data from the Google Sheet, so I'm just pasting it into the input. Build me an internal client management app powered by this Google Sheet. It'll then come back to me and ask for the Google Sheet. The clients tab should be the main record. Display a list of clients with search filters, status highlights, etc. I won't go through all of it. When I click into a client show, I'm being very specific on what I want to see. Pull related contacts and check-ins linked by the client ID. You can filter, add an action button to log a new check-in, create saved views, my accounts, at-risk clients, yada, yada. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prompt Zite to actually build that. While we wait for that to come back and ask for the Google Sheet, we'll jump into Lovable and we'll paste the same prompt right there and see what we get. So Zite has come back and it's asked me for the Google Sheet I want to connect. Now you can build apps without actually connecting a Google Sheet. It'll just ask you at a later time to connect it or you can use the native Zite databases which were recently released. If you want to learn more about that, make sure to check out our video on that. So I've added my Google Sheet, and now it's gonna sync my cells and rows to the app itself. Here on Lovable, because of the prompt that I use actually asked the AI model to connect to a Google Sheet, it's coming up with not an error, but a pause. It's asking for me to connect a Superbase database to Lovable. Now I don't have a Superbase database for this example, and unfortunately, Google Sheets doesn't connect to Lovable, so we're just gonna prompt it to build a CRM for us so you can see what it does. So on Zite, you can connect to a direct database natively on the Zite or Fillout ecosystem. Now, you also have the ability to connect to Google Sheets, Airtable, and they're also rolling out Notion, Monday.com, SmartSuite, among other platforms. Whereas Lovable, currently we can just connect to Superbase or we can take it out externally after we've built it and connect it via a server. So if you are looking for a quick app build that you and your team can work internally, and I will suggest that these app builders are only used for small teams, well, Zite's definitely gonna be a better option for you. Not only do you have built-in forms, scheduling, and native databases, you've got more options of connecting to a data source and an easier and more intuitive UI. While Lovable is being quite slow, we've got Zite ready, connected to our Google Sheets, and the CRM or the customer management pipeline tracker can be viewed. So we'll just go full screen so you can see what we've got. Here we can see our total client, our total annual reoccurring revenue. If we check our Google Sheet, we need to ensure that all this is correct. So here we can see our clients. We've got six, that's correct. And the total of this, yep, 
That does, quick maths. But if we jump back into Zite, what else have we got here? We can actually change by the account owner. That's awesome. If we jump back in here, we'll notice we've got Alex Dan, Alex Dan. Now you might usually create a different worksheet for each individual department or person. This really saves that. And like I said, it's interactive and it's intuitive. You've also got industry filters, health filters. Now you might see that and say, hey, we've got one at risk. Why don't we see any at risk in this filter? Well, that's because we've still got Alex selected. If we swap that to Dan, there we go. However, we can't deselect anything unless we click clear filters. So we're not done with this. We can jump through the tab navigation. We've got expansion, renewals, nothing in there. At risk, we saw that earlier, and my accounts. Now, we currently don't have that enabled on our version. We're just gonna jump out of the full screen here. But what you can set up is actual login permissions and roles. So if Alex jumps in, and he selects that My Accounts tab, it'll show him the clients and customers that are assigned to him, and same with Dan, vice versa. We will just quickly add that so that you can see what it looks like only when needed. We'll click Add Login, and if we take a look at the preview, we're just waiting for that to update. Now, each time that you do make changes to your app, you will have to go through this process. It is doing the building for you, it's coding on the back end. it's writing the script, so let's be patient. And speaking about patience, we jump into Lovable, and here we can see that we've got a similar build for our CRM. We've got my accounts, at-risk clients, renewals. We can also see that this is actually dummy data. It's not the data from our CRM. And so that means the next step from here would be to take this out and actually connect the dots. Whereas in Zite, before we begin the build, it's already done for us. So if there's any discrepancies or issues in that lovable build, you're not forced to just continuously change the code or just keep it in lovable and ask AI to make the updates. Zite's definitely an easier and quicker process to build. Now from here, we'll see, now here we can see that sign in process. So whenever what, now here we can see that sign in process. Whenever someone lands on the app, they'll ask to sign in. They'll then select their email, jump in, and they will have a customized and unique view depending on how you set it up. Now, I will quickly just mention that we've got the workflows here on the back end that's collecting that data. We've got the database, which we could connect. That's the native database I mentioned to you earlier, but we are building on Google Sheets, so we don't need to worry about that. Next step, well, perhaps you're not happy with the app and you want to update, improve, and change. You can either prompt directly to the AI model, so it has an overall edit experience, or you can select the edit icon here and get down to the nitty gritty. Let's say for instance, we wanted more padding on these cards here, or perhaps we wanted a drastic change. We could select AI edit. We know that that's focusing and targeting that container, and then we ask for it to make its updates. So building out your app with Zite, it's gonna take you a bit of back and forth until you're completely happy with it, but how quick can it build a beautiful, interactive, and intuitive app for you and your team? And possibly your client. Now, the reason I say possibly your client is because there are some limitations in regards to how this works, security and permission aware, which we'll talk about soon enough, but let's now take a look at how we could build an app with Softer. The difference between Zite and Softer is that Zite is an AI first app builder and Softer actually is more of a template, drag, drop and build builder. In saying that though, we do have the option to build out an app using the generative AI, so let's give that a go. Now again, we're gonna use that same prompt and we're going to ask to preview our app. Now, Softer only gives us a 200 character limit, so it's used up quite quickly, so we're just gonna prompt it simply, just so you can see the AI capabilities, but there is a difference here between Zite and Softer. Softer isn't focused in AI, it gives you guardrails so that you can build polished apps without having to worry about issues. You might find that in your building process with Zite, you can take it too far, the AI gets confused, or the layout is over skewed, overrun, and chaotic. That's just what happens with AI. Not only that, because you're using an AI prompt, it's a consistent back and forth of the model, and it can take quite a long time to build something you envision. Whereas if you're given the building blocks from a platform like Softer, it can be a quicker process to build what you envisioned. And here we can see the generated template that was created by Softer. 
Now, personally, I'd go with one of their other templates. I know that they have some beautifully crafted and professional templates, but there is a positive there because it is structured correctly. It's got tab navigation, you're ready to go. And all you would need to do is to connect your actual data source, the Google Sheets, to the content copy. Here we can see source, we could select copy generated data. And what it would do would be then to create a database for you natively in software with the example data, but we already have our data. Select Google Sheets, you'll then need to select the document or the spreadsheet, our CRM customer pipeline, and then the worksheet that this data source relates to this block with. So we'll have our clients, we'll wait for that to load, it'll auto map, we can sort, change page, etc. We won't get too deep into this because we have plenty of videos on software. We do love software as a platform. We've also got action buttons that we can include. But again, I will point you to our playlists on software. Go ahead and check those out and learn more about this platform. But from here, you could build out your separate pages. You could have a form for new clients to be onboarded for your sales team to report on check-ins and so on. And if we preview the front end of that just quickly built app, here we can see we've got a journey, a carefully crafted journey for our users. If I just log in here, and here we can see we've got a customized experience specifically for me, Alejandro, our clients here. We've also got deals that we're able to navigate through as well as interactions. And then from there, you can toggle between the different viewpoints, which I didn't actually mention when we were in Zyat. If we jump back, our viewport's here. Now, I will mention that you will want to double check on your iPad and handheld device, phone, fancy way of saying phone, because sometimes what it shows you in the live editor is not what you'll actually see on the live front end. Now, when it comes to sharing your apps, a unique URL will be generated in both platforms. If we jump into Zyte, we'll hit share. We want to publish our app first. We can access it through here, add a custom link as well as a custom domain or embed that onto our website. The important thing to note that this sync will be two ways. If you add new records to the front end, your app, or make edits on your app, those edits are going to occur in your Google Sheets which makes this an exciting way for you to build a custom experience for your team to help them get more work done. Plus, perhaps you are currently wondering which CRM project management or work management tool you should pay for. Instead, you could pay for the credits to prompt Zyat or pay for a subscription with Softer and build multiple apps to manage your CRM, your content production pipeline, your project management and deliverables. The list is pretty endless. Now, when it comes to the limitations of an AI powered app builder, well, we've got to discuss data and security privacy. Zyat is designed as a rapid AI driven builder, not as a hardened enterprise platform. There is limited transparency about how your data is stored specifically on the native database. And if you are storing it on Google Sheets, for instance, well, that's already not the best practice. There's also no audit or logging trails, so you can't see where things have gone wrong or, God forbid, data has been breached. And if you've got sensitive client data, making one small mistake in the way that you built the app or configured the roles and permissions, well, there's a chance that it will be breached. Yeah. Bottom line is that Zeit is a fantastic tool for internal prototypes, proof of concepts, and team tools. Zeit enables you to speed up priority and ensure only the right and correct information is shown so things are less chaotic for your team. Now, because Zeit lacks compliance assurances and data privacy measures, using a tool like Softer when you're building your client-facing tools, well, that's definitely a better practice. And also, if your team is handling sensitive, sensitive data internally, maybe an AI-powered app build is not the best tool for you. And that's when you would look to a tool like Softer. Software is built for client portals and external apps. It shines when you need to share data with clients, partners, or external users because you can create password-protected portals, role-based dashboards, and public sites. This too can connect to Google Sheets, Airtable, and they also offer native databases. Unlike fast AI-first builders, Softer has mature access controls and compliance features, role-based access, hidden fields, and secure backends, which make it safer for sensitive client data. So when you compare a tool 
like Zite or Lovable with software when considering your internal tools or building apps for your business. Well, while Zite is fast and helps you get off the ground quickly, a tool like software is definitely a safer production avenue. So if you're looking to build apps to streamline your workflows or automate your processes, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where our team of experts are offering a free 30 minute consultation. So book yours today.